Good morning, friends. Um, I was just thinking, I haven't actually told any of you about how I stopped smoking. And uh, so I just wanted to share that with you. So back in 2015, when I first moved to Chilliwack, I was still smoking. And when I started my walk with God, I remember thinking to myself, how am I ever going to quit smoking? So, that thought went on for a while, and I knew that I would have to give that up just because in my heart I knew that I shouldn't be smoking as a Christian. And uh, I started volunteering at a homeless shelter for a little while, and one day when I was leaving the homeless shelter, I ran into a friend of mine, and he said, you won't believe this. A guy is coming to town who prays for people and they often get healed and set free. You should come and watch. And I instantly thought of the smoking because I knew I wanted to get rid of that out of my life. So I went there. I, I walked to the church and I had a smoke along the way. And as I was walking in the church, I put my smoke out and I was like, God, if you're going to, if you want me to quit smoking, you're going to have to help me because... I just can't do it on my own. There's just no way. I've tried to quit smoking so many times. It wasn't even funny. So I went in there and they talked about Jesus and, and the gospel and like what Jesus meant to people and why he died on the cross and stuff like that and and that it was important for you to turn from your sin and stuff. And then at the end, they called up people to get prayed for and I went up right away and... I was like, <clears throat> I don't know, a few people in and I got prayed for. And the guy had this oil and he was putting oil on the, the tip of his finger. And so he put oil on the tip of his finger and he went down like this with the oil down my forehead. And the minute he got to the bottom here, I just felt this bolt of lightning go through my body and I hit the floor. But I didn't know that I was set free from cigarettes at that point yet. So on my way home, I was walking and I was about to pull my lighter out of my pocket just by my house and to light up a smoke before I went inside. And um, this voice spoke to me and said, throw that out. You don't smoke anymore. And I happened to be walking by a dumpster at that time. And I threw the lighter into the dumpster. And I only smoked one more cigarette after that. And then I haven't smoked since. And it's been like like however many six seven years now since that day so god really can do you know an amazing work in people's lives when it comes to being set free from smoking and you have to truly want it though but yeah i mean like i said before i smoked one more cigarette after there i shouldn't have done that but i did but the thing is you know when god rids things from our lives or when we read the word and we get something out of our life you can almost guarantee that the devil's going to come around and he's going to try to get you know he's going to try to tempt you again to do that one thing that you used to do and you really gotta know that going in you you know like it, with smoking people a lot of people smoke because they're stressed out and, you know, there's, they think to themselves, oh, I could never be without a cigarette. I'm just stressed out all the time. And that's the thing, you know, if, if you have a situation happen to you, you know, like a bad moment, you might be thinking about going back to smoking. And you really got to know that going into quitting smoking, that you can't give in in those situations. Because if you do, you're going to throw it all away and you're going to be bound in chains by that addiction again because that's really what it is every day you're thinking about how you're gonna have your next cigarette like especially these days it's like 17 dollars a pack here in canada you know and that's quite a bit of money for people to continue their addiction and you know every hour or maybe it's every two hours for you your brain is saying hey it's time to have a cigarette you know and you're literally almost throwing a dollar away down the drain. Because in another hour, your brain's going to want another one. And, you know, cigarettes might be fun at first. But when you're smoking a pack a day, you're really just keeping your brain from asking you for another cigarette. 
you're not having fun anymore at that point. Like, honestly, if you're going to be honest with yourself. I know some people will say they like smoking, but, I mean, you're throwing your money away. I mean, you might like it, but you're throwing your money away. And uh, it's not what God wants for you as a Christian. So, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you and be blessed and have a good day. And, yeah, I'll see you later.